Hey there, it's Brian. I wanted to show you my bananas that I'm growing just south of Seattle, Washington. One last time before winter takes them. We've got freezing temperatures in the forecast and they probably won't last next week. So this is how they ended up this year. They're looking a little shredded right now just because it's been windy. It's typical for this area to have some bigger winds in the fall and spring. So they're a little shredded. Overall, they did pretty well this year. They were a little bit slow because we had such a cold spring, but they got to about 16 feet tall, which was the same, roughly the same as what they were last year. I have seven overall that fruited and uh, those, while well, they'll be gone next year, there are lots of new ups that came in this year. Some of them are several feet tall already, so uh, there will be no shortage of bananas next year. Now, I'm not going to wrap my bananas just yet. I've made the mistake in the past just going off of the forecast, and I've done it ahead of a freeze, and then the weather doesn't get as cold as the forecast was, and I find out I could have kept my bananas around for a few more weeks if I would have just left them alone. So personally, I always wait until the first freeze, wait until they're actually, the leaves are hanging down and, and they are really done for the season. I don't try and get ahead of it at all. Now looking around the rest of the yard, all of the plants that wouldn't survive the winter that are in pots have been moved inside. I've got this angel wing begonia that I put in the ground. It did really well. I'm going to dig this one out and put it inside for the winter. I'll put it back in the ground next spring. I do have another angel wing begonia that I put in the ground that I'm leaving out and we'll see how that does, see if it can survive. In the front yard, things are pretty bare bones, but... I got it to a good blank slate for the most part. The trees are down, replaced with bamboo. The yard is flat. All the extra dirt is removed or spread out. And we'll be able to do some good things here in the spring. All the pots that come in end up in this back room here. We've got floor to ceiling windows that are southwest facing. They'll get good sun for most of the afternoon every day when there is sun, when it's not cloudy. The Royal Poinciana here has been inside for a couple of months actually already. I had to bring it in because it started dropping leaves once the temperatures hit about 55 Fahrenheit. Wasn't happy and uh, pulled it inside. It, it's doing fine. It stopped dropping leaves and it's not really growing, but that's okay. Now, once it freezes outside, I will finish up the bananas, wrap the ones that I'm going to wrap this year, and the yard will be put to bed until the spring. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks and have a good one.